My name is Errol Chung. I was born right here in uh, Miami, Florida. I've been in sales and marketing for about 15 years. Um, I started out right after college. I went to Florida A&M University. I uh, graduated from the School of Business and Industry in 2003. Uh, by 2006, I believe, I guess to start my notable accomplishments in 2006, I wrote my first book, The Liquid Salesman. That was focused on sales strategies for independent consultants. Um, followed uh, a couple years later by my second book, uh, 2011, Zero Budget Marketing. I designed this one as a workbook for people that were not internet inclined. So this is a, a workbook that's focused on marketing that talks about using your own personal networks, your own charm, your own charisma, your own personality really to develop the relationships it takes to, uh, to build a sales pipeline and to build a strong marketing base. So that was a good project for me. I guess you can say I started out right after college. Uh, I went directly into the real estate market. I started out as an appraiser. I moved from there into mortgage and valuation. I moved from there into uh, tax defense with uh, Broward County Property Appraiser's Office. Uh, I bought and sold my own home around 2000, 2005, 2006. I bought my first home. And being a part of the real estate industry, what that taught me was a true sense of value. What does it mean to have value? What does it mean to be valuable? And there's a huge difference between value and price and what people will actually pay. Being in the real estate value, I was looking at everything from $17,000 condos uh, to you know, $400 million hotels. So there was a large gap, and in each scenario, it was my responsibility to take a look at the market, take a look at what was going on around the, around the property, and really get a true sense of a feel of the, the temperature of what was going on. So learning value is really, really important in business and sales because you have to know what the client considers valuable in order to be able to create a price point or a selling price or a resale price um, and create a relationship, basically. So with the combined understanding of what value meant and learning more and more about sales channel development and what it means to hold a relationship over time, I started to build this new persona as a business strategist. Um, I had a brother that wrote his first book around that time and based on his understanding of the system, the understanding what it took to write a book and proofreading and editing, um, I went ahead and wrote my first one, again, Liquid Salesman, Sales Strategies for Independence. And I took that knowledge that I had gained from building relationships with professors in college and building understandings of value with the real estate community and then moving that into the scalability of online marketing and retail sales. I felt I had enough content and history to, to write the small book as a kind of a test of my ability to manage large processes. And it did fairly well for quite a while, I'm proud to say. Um, with that understanding, with that newfound confidence, I continued my consultation career. I again worked uh, on a consultation basis with Kaplan University. I went uh, and worked for a couple other real estate firms and helping them create their online platforms, helping them create their uh, their viewer pages for different real estate properties, help them get more awareness as a brand within themselves. So instead of just being a one-on-one -on -one realtor in a neighborhood, they were able to use the company brand to establish themselves as a value point and more of an information point. It's around that time that I fell in love with professional associations. Like I said, I say love a lot when it comes to business because I really, really love what I do. And this is a path that I've chosen um, through hard times and not. It's been, it's been a, a carved path its whole way. With the American Society of Appraisers, I was with them for about five years. Over the five-year period, we won four international best website design awards. Uh, that was fun. And I want to see that was really, really great. I learned so much from those guys. It was a great environment. We, we met once a month. We had these monster steaks at Tropical Lakers Steakhouse. Um, Shout out to Shopping Lakers, great, great place to go. And it was just a warm environment where I had moved from mentee to colleague. And even as colleague, I was still being given so much advice and so much information. It was just a very, very strong knit group of guys um, and gals that, that let me in and really taught me what it, was part, what it was like to be a part of a larger community. I love what I do. I love loving what I do. And nothing's gonna change that. I love having fun. I live in one of the greatest cities in the world. I've traveled tons before. I used to snowboard, I used to ski. I've traveled to Spain several times. I've traveled across Europe. 
I've gone to the Caribbean, and again, I come back home. I love Miami, this is my home. I will travel for outside work, but little chance of me moving there. So again, I thank you for your opportunity, and I um, hope I didn't come off too crass or too cocky in this one-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh, this interview, and I uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.